Hello and welcome to another video lecture from MrWatkins.com. I'm Mr. Watkins. This video is on sex linked traits. Sex linked traits basically means the trait, the gene you're look, looking at, is found on the X or Y. So if the trait is, on, is found on the X, it's only going to be found on the X chromosome. If it's found on the Y, it's only going to be found on the Y chromosome. Uh, male pattern baldness and hemophilia are um, two examples that get used a lot, and they're found on the X chromosome. These are also sometimes called X-linked traits. So let's look at an organism that's called Drosophila melanogaster. Thomas uh, Hunt Morgan um, used this as an example organism as they work through um, the genetics that Gregor Mendel had previously um, shown how the alleles and the traits and everything line up to be able to predict offspring. And he used, uh, his organism was Drosophila melanogaster. And one of the things about this particular organism is that eye color is controlled by a gene that's found only on the X chromosome. So if the organism has red eyes, it's a dominant trait, capital letter, it's expressed, or the organism can have wide eyes, lowercase letter, or it's recessive. Now let's work through a problem here. Let's say that I have a female fly that's heterozygous, red-eyed. And it mates with a male that is white-eyed. So it's a wide-eyed male. Remember that this is a symbol for female. That's a symbol used for male. Step one, as it is with all the other um, genetic crosses we do, is what's the parent's genotype? Being a female, it's going to be X and X. I purposely left a little bit of room between the two. And because it's red-eyed and red is dominant, we should be um, big R and heterozygous, meaning it's going to be big R and little r. Now, because it's sex-linked or X-linked, it's only found on this X chromosome, it's going to end up being a superscript. Now, for the male, the male's genotype is X and Y, and again, I left a little gap here. It's wide-eyed, so that means it's got the little r, but because it's sex-linked only found on the X chromosome, we're only going to have one allele, and that's going to be on this X chromosome. So when this uh, male makes sperm, it's going to have sperm that's got the X with a little r on it. There's two genes there, or it's going to have just the Y. And the female for making the egg, it's going to have the X with the big R on it. They're going to go together, or the X with the little r, they're going to go together. These things are linked together, sex linked. Step two is the gametes. What are the gametes going to be produced here for the female? Well, X big R and X little r. Those are the two possibilities. For the male, X little r and Y. Those are the two possibilities there. And so as we walk through the problem, try to pre uh, predict what the offspring are going to be like, um, we need to be able to understand what the gametes, the possible gametes would be for these two uh, organisms. Now three, let's produce the square, that Punnett square, so that we can randomly um, associate the two alleles from each of the organisms together so that we can see what kind of organisms we get or what the possibilities are we get. Remember that on the organism that's on the left, I tend to make my rows, the one on the right, that's what I tend to make my columns. So I've got X little r and Y, that's going to be my columns, and then my rows are going to be X big R and X little r. I'm going to fill in the pieces to the square here, X big R, X little r, X big R and Y, X little r, X little r, X little r and Y. Now, the next step then is to answer the question. And our question is what are the phenotypes for a uh, possible phenotypes for this particular cross between that heterozygous red-eyed female and the white-eyed male. So in our answer here we're going to go through and we're going to look. First I have the possibility of having a female with red eyes. Got it right there. She's heterozygous. We also have the possibility of a female with white eyes. 
We have a possibility of a male with red eyes and a possibility of a female, or excuse me, a male with white eyes. So we're basically looking here at 25% chance for each one of these uh, particular phenotypes in a mating between that heterozygous red-eyed female and then the white-eyed male. Now what would happen if instead of a heterozygous uh, female she was homozygous for this particular trait? So instead of being heterozygous, and I'm going to move back up here to the top, she just has red eyes and she's homozygous for it. That means she's going to have a genotype of big R, big R. Our gametes are going to be big R, big R. This basically isn't going to exist down here on the bottom because we just have that big R um, gamete here. And so all the organisms are going to be red-eyed and we're not going to see this wide-eyed trait. It wouldn't be until this heterozygote, just this whole process um, of looking at how this sex... superscript that. That's all for this one. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another video lecture from MrWatkins.com. I'm Mr. Watkins. This video is on sex-linked traits. Sex-linked traits basically means the trait, the gene you're look, looking at, is found on the X or Y. So if the trait is, on, is found on the X, it's only going to be found on the X chromosome. If it's found on the Y, it's only going to be found on the Y chromosome. Uh, male